Okay, so let's take a look at how you can create a new map and new tile set in Tile Editor. So go to mapeditor.org and here you can download the Tile Editor once installed on your system depending on it is Windows or Linux. You can find that you have this icon that you can click to start the Tile Editor. Okay, by default you can see I already worked on few projects which I'm going to close. So this is the default screen that you get at last 16.tsx okay, which is tile set. So let's close this one as well. Now if you want to start from fresh you can simply create a new project. So file then you can choose new map or tile set. Right. So we will first start with new map which you can also do with this button as well so let's go from file menu new new map right now here what you'll find that it will show you option for orientation so if it's your rpg game or basically platformer then orthogonal should be selected isometric staggered and hexagonal those are more towards 3d or 2.5d games so go with orthogonal for default keep this layer format csv because other would be difficult to handle at first so third being the rendering order keep right down as is right so map size also shows you fixed with 100 tiles or height width and height 100 tiles or you can go with infinite so infinite is useful when you want a particular map that continues to go on and on like flappy bird type and for that it would be useful then you have tile size where width is 32 pixel by 32 pixel then you have to save this map so click on save as then go to your folder where you want to do that so let's see I'm going to use tiled project for this particular series and I'm going to save my map over there. So map one okay, is my tile map. As you can see, the moment I create this, I will be getting screen that looks something like this. So we have our map, then we want to create a tile set, right? So we go to file, new, new tile set. Now here we have to add some names. So let's say tile underscore set one, right? And here you will be asked whether to embed in map or not. Currently don't choose this. Then you have based on tile set image that we will be adding as a source, okay? and keep the tile width 32 by 32 and use this browse button to navigate to your tile set folder now i already downloaded rpg tile set from open game art and hio so you can see this in here so i want to create rpg map for that i want to use basically greenery or some desert that looks something like this right so I will choose this grass open now click on save as and choose your current project folder save it okay now that you have seen how to create your map and also your tile set now tile set can be accessed from your map okay and if you click on the one of the tile you can go ahead and drop it on your map so currently map is 25 percent zoomed change that to 100 right so if you check that particular 100 value can you want to increase this to let's say 150% for tiles so that selecting would be easier 
also you can change this to 150 and then dropping them would be even more easier so when you select the tile and drop it like this right then you get your bush right then you can go ahead with multi tile selection option then you simply drop it like this right make sure you do such stuff randomly so as not to get the repetitive patterns in between that so let's see if i select this and choose this and choose this okay as you can see this looks more random now considering we have only selected grass uh, i'm adding grass over here which i want to change this then i can use new tile set option so new tile set select this then add the name again and then choose from your downloaded tile sheet and then keep dropping on your map and once you're done you can export this to a image or you can export this as tmx file as is in few game engines to use it immediately so you get the idea how to create your tile map how to import your tile set from existing images or those sprite sheets so you get the idea how to use your tile map editor to create a map and tile sheet